Hello, fifth grade. You guys have such an exciting writing project coming up. I'm really happy about it. It is about um, making imaginative instructions. So it doesn't have even have to be something that anyone would do for real. But learning to write instructions, even if it's something that's in your imagination, is very important. In Psalms 119, 104, it says, through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. And that is God's specific instructions to us that we need to study his word and know his word so that we'll be able to identify what is false. And if he's giving, taking such care in giving us those instructions, then we need to take care in the instructions that we give anyone else. Um, so our first lesson on page 253 and 254 is about precise wording, making sure that everything is specific. So instead of saying just put in the brownie mix, it tells you to um, empty the packet of brownie mix into a certain size bowl or something like that. You can read through that on pages 253 and 254. The answers are kind of um, Answers will vary, but I do want you to go through that thinking process so you get used to the detail that is necessary for this kind of assignment. Now on um, the next two pages, 225 and 226, we need to start thinking about the kind of things that we can do with our imagination. Um, oftentimes I have told you guys that when I pray, I often imagine myself in front of God's throne. So I'm using my sanctified imagination to get myself there. And that's what you want to do with your assignment, is you want to make the, the reader feel like they are there and they are doing that experience, whatever experience you're writing about, even if it is imaginary. Um, now, in your assignment, you're going to have to have an introduction and then your first and second and third steps and a conclusion. If you look on page 255, it gets you through there. And if you look at, for, if you look at it in your first paragraph, that is where you ha um, this writer chose to start with a thought provoking question, some way to get the reader's attention. And then, um, she also included the materials in that first paragraph. And if you remember the instructions paragraphs that you have done in the past, that's where that goes. In the conclusion, remember that is where you sum up. That is where you leave the um, reader with the feeling that they wanna go out and try this thing. Um, now, you're going to do some thinking in a, and to try to decide on your subject on page 256. And then when you get to 257, that is reminding you about your time order words, which are very important in a um, instructions assignment. You have your time order words and then also spatial words. So if you have to go over, if you have to go under, if it needs to be behind, any of those kind of words you need to um, make sure that you are using and that all reminds you of that there on page 258 that exercise is um an answers will vary thing but you need to think about where could you put those phrases those spatial phrases and those time order phrases that would work well in that paragraph then you guys get into the planning on page 259 and 260 now this is over a period of days. You don't have to have this all done in one day. That's, but you might get excited about it because I know how you guys are. Um, that is where they give you an example of a planning and then you can do your own planning. Now in the um, example, she gives the example of um, writing a whale, how to write a whale. And you guys can pick any number of things wherever your imagination thinks, takes you. But it, it did give you, on the one page that helped you think about it, is impossible things that you always wished you could do or jobs or household chores that you wish you 
were easier or wish were more fun or um, even had something that could do it for you. So those are the kinds of things that you are going to be working on in the next three lessons. After that, after the planning, of course, the next step is the draft. So you will be doing the draft. Um, and then, I can't remember if that takes us up to Easter or not, but I'll check on it and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys, have fun with this assignment. I'm excited to see what you're going to do.